Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I am Rudy. I am a grad school content creator in Atlanta, Georgia, getting her doctorate of pharmacy, master's of public health. Welcome to the club. I would love if you would subscribe below and join me on this journey. Today is Saturday, January 30th. Yes. And um, this is going to be a first exam preparation vlog. So um, if you watch my vlog that went up on Sunday, which is going to go tomorrow. Yeah. If you're going to watch, if you watch the vlog that's going up tomorrow, Ooh, this is gonna be confusing. <laughs> then you see that I have been talking a lot of note cards done, getting my study guides done, and that is for my exam that is on Monday. So Monday is the first exam of the semester. It is cardiovascular renal disorders one. Um, so that's what I'm going to be preparing for this weekend. I have finished both of my study guides. So basically, this is just going to be me like, you know, fully understanding concepts, highlighting concepts that I need to go back and watch like YouTube videos on maybe, like an overview on, um, doing a lot of note cards, doing a lot of practice exams. So that is what that's going to be. Um, this won't be like an entire thing where I'm like discussing, you know, concepts and stuff like that with you guys. It's just going to be like how I prepared for this exam. So um, let's get into it. So something I do want to point out is I mentioned earlier that if you watch the vlog that's going up on Sunday, January 31st, you will see where I discuss just like a lot of that stuff. Um, so I will also note that like if you want to know how I make my note cards, then um, watch the vlog that is about the first week of school. Um, I did an in-depth review on how I actually make my note cards um, specifically. So like I showed you guys like my first lecture of cardiovascular renal disorder so I annotate on my iPad during lecture that's all I do during lecture that just gives me time to like um only focus on what he's saying so before like last semester I would do like make my study guide at the same time and I noticed for some classes that does work for me perfectly so like my first year that worked for like law that worked for um like certain classes but last year for like cns and entanglement that just didn't work for me and so i'm perfectly fine and i understand that now you know for certain classes it works so i wanted to not try that out in cardio because that's just as big as a class so i noticed that when i literally only annotate on my ipad and pay attention and then i go back after lecture you know I, I take some time away like go do some errands go do a workout whatever come back and then when i sit down at my desk and start making my study cards i am kind of reviewing the powerpoint while i make my study cards because i basically dumb down stuff so i'll shorten the sentence until how i want to understand it i you know add my pictures that i've drawn in class into my study cards and stuff like that so that's a really good thing to point out so definitely watch that vlog and you'll see how i be getting these study cards so yeah i mean i might show you guys like them while i'm reviewing later but i just wanted to make sure that you guys check that vlog out because i, you know, I go in depth on how to make them so now let's get to studying <laughs> Wanted to show you guys an example of one of my rundown sheets when I'm preparing for exams. So this is essentially a, I think a total of about a hundred plus slides that I essentially just jotted down the most important topics and there we go. Hello. Okay, so it is 11.40 and I forgot to mention in the beginning of this vlog that I'm getting my second vaccination today. So I just arrived at our board of health that I have mine scheduled to get at. Uh, my appointment's at 11.50, so I have to go in now. But yeah, I forgot to mention that, so that's what, why there's a study break right now because I'm going to get my second vaccine now. Bye! I hope! So it is now... 115 so just got back from my second dose um went smooth everything um so i am actually going to be packing up right now i'm staying the night at my parents house um back in my hometown because i have to babysit my neighbor's kids i don't freak out about the babysitting so my neighbor is a nurse and um her two girls um are like all i have to do is put them to bed and give them dinner stuff like that um it's really nothing like super crazy um and we like they wear a mask the entire time um but yeah, she's a nurse and so she often has to travel sometime. And so like, this is like one of the weekends where she does have to like, she's coming from a different state 
um so like she just needs me to put them in bed all the time um so yeah um so i'm about to head home um i'm leaving i like i don't have to babysit them until six like that's like, what time they have dinner so i don't have to go over until six but um i wanted to go home like around this time so that i could have some extra hours of studying yami's gonna be staying here because his dad my boyfriend um is coming over to feed him and all that stuff tonight um i didn't want to pack him up only for like barely 12 hours you know because i'll be back tomorrow around noon i didn't want, i didn't want to like you know force him to like drive with me and all that stuff like i just don't want to do that for him and yeah but um doing that now and then we're gonna head out so that when i get home i can study family's home um i just picked up some lunch here and i am about to set up my like favorite study spot here and just go to town until about six when i'm gonna walk over to my neighbor's house to babysit her kids um no one's here right now and that's amazing because that means i get to go ahead and get in my mood in my like groove and then when they get here i probably have like an hour or two done already um or something like that but yes home safe back to studying <laughs> to walk over to my neighbors now it's 5 53 i'm about to fill my water bottle up um so like last time i was there i forgot to ask for the wi-fi password when she was gone and she couldn't answer her phone so i could have texted her until she got back but um i just went ahead and downloaded like all of my practice quizzes from my professor and all that stuff because i want to go over all those questions tonight and stuff so i downloaded those to my ipad so that i can just like access them as a pdf um but yeah got some good stuff done before this i kind of crashed because i was like getting annoyed with like kidney stuff because i was like confusing myself for a little bit but we good we back in it walking over now let's get it so another thing that's super important for me when i am studying is taking practice questions and making practice exams or just using other people's questions they make this specifically is my professor. He gave us an entire PowerPoint of practice questions. So I love going through them and just like essentially annotating why it's wrong, why it's right. Hey guys, it is now Sunday and it is 2.45. Um, <laughs> this is obviously was not planned to start back up, you know, the next day at nighttime <laughs> or late afternoon. But um, basically like when I got home after babysitting, um, all, I guess all of my like second dose of the vaccine symptoms cut like set in and I am just now kind of recovering um yeah I like I'm still nauseous okay so let me let me backtrack like basically at like midnight or a little after midnight I got like really bad chills got some aches I had a horrible headache and I was extremely nauseous um, I was already fatigued and like after and that's just normal for me so I didn't really consider that as super important but just like alongside um the fatigue and the nausea got like that really exacerbated it and I just felt like if I were to move I was either going to like, faint or like just uncontrollably <laughs> so yeah for like three hours like from basically from like midnight to like about 4 a.m ish I was just going through it i was not comfortable and then you know i was like rolling on both my sides and then i wrote on my injection site and that hurt of course um but yeah i am just now recovering really or just like getting to a spot where i you know feel okay um i made it back to my place today um like i got up about 10 
and I went to my mom with my mom to Sam's and that's why I came home as well after babysitting was that I also needed to go to Sam's Club here and get um, Yami's cat food in bulk. I'd like to get the 48 pack because like at Target and stuff they only sell a 20 something pack, I can't remember. But um, Sam's and like Costco has 48 packs. So that's why I really, I really wanted to go get that this morning. And I was feeling okay then. So like I went ahead and did that. And then also just was like, all right, this is the best time for me to drive home now because I feel okay. So I came home. I've been on the couch for about two hours now, just like going through note cards and like, you know, going in and out of like a nap kind of. But my mom um, had to come to had to come to this side of town as well. So um, she just dropped off some soup for me and stuff like that but um yeah i think this is the first time that i'm like legit like feeling productive today um yeah like i don't know what else to say except for uh <laughs> like i'm i appreciate my immune system for doing its job and you know fighting but um she didn't have to come at me like this so yeah now i am going to eat my soup and hopefully continue to study um i got a lot of stuff done this week like i've mentioned so like i'm not gonna give like i'm not gonna fault myself if i do end up needing to take a, like a nap or like just some downtime because like i just i'm just not feeling i'm not feeling good at all so um i don't think i need an email i have my exam postponed because i feel like like with the material i'm feeling pretty good like right now it's just i'm just doing practice questions um but yeah <laughs> And I'm glad I'm documenting this because, you know, it just shows like all the shit that can happen <laughs> in grad school um, and just how you just got to keep going. And I know, granted, if I was having much more severe symptoms, obviously I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, just get over it and go take your exam. I would definitely reach out. But I'm pretty I can manage right now. Like my nausea is getting better. So I know for sure I can probably sit through my exam tomorrow. My headache is decreasing stuff like that so i definitely see like the light at the end of the tunnel but um obviously if you are experiencing much more symptoms <laughs> or symptoms like that don't be like me <laughs> please <laughs> get help but um yeah i'm gonna eat some soup and probably set a timer to like really get back in the swing of things at like four because it's yeah it's 250 so maybe at four at 4 p.m maybe i'm gonna be back in my like my grind time and then just grinding out all night <sighs> i'm so sorry guys this is probably this vlog probably sucks because of this but i still wanted to document it for you i love you Monday, February 1, first day of month two, first day of Black History Month, first exam. So, um, yeah, I woke up earlier than usual to stay today because I got my second dose over the weekend and it knocked me out. Like, I wasn't able to really, like, get back to studying afterwards. Like, it was pretty bad. So, I didn't start feeling good until about last night around like eight or nine is when i started feeling better um so that's why i'm getting up i got up at 6 30 a.m today um i just did like a 30 minute yoga it's 7 25 now i'm gonna take a little bit for me to get out of bed too so i'm still pretty weak so that's why i didn't do like hit or like cardio or anything like that i did a 20 minute yoga um and now i'm going to shower make some coffee and head to campus to do my whole study routine before an exam um and that means that basically i get up fairly earlier than my exam because i personally like to take advantage of exam morning i don't like to get up one hour before an exam like that's just not me i don't like that personally if you can do that that's great like you got it boo i can't um so what i'm gonna do is i want to make coffee and then i'm gonna go to the cafeteria because no one's ever there before like eight um and i'm just gonna camp out there until my exam
I just got home, so someone wants to be all over me. Oh. Okay, so it is, let's see, 11.57. Exam was from 10 to, I think we had until 12. Yeah, 10 to 12. Um, I finished, or at least I called my mom at 10.50, so that shows you how long it took me. Um, it went pretty well. Um, I'm so glad I, like, you know, spent a lot of time on the practice exams and, like, the practice questions from class to just, like, understanding them, why they're wrong, why they're right. Because he, like, changes, like, little things in the words. And it was, like, an exact reflection of how his exam went. And so I was, like, super excited about that. Um, so I feel pretty good. Um, after that, since I'm playing catch up from being sick all weekend i had to go grocery shopping um so i decided to venture out to walmart this time i typically go to my kroger or I go to adam's trader joe's but i know everything that's at kroger right now because i had to go on friday before i went home so i was like okay let me check out walmart and see if they got some stuff and so i got some i did get some new stuff so i'm excited about that um so i'm about to make a quick lunch because i have to hop on a zoom call at 12 15 and it's 11 58 so I'm gonna make a quick lunch. I have class from one to three today, and then I have a um, birthday thing at eight. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be productive from class until the birthday thing. But um, yeah, I'm really feeling, feeling good about the exam, feeling really good. Um, so that obviously that's gonna reflect on my week, just starting off with a good, something good, always looks like my week great, so yay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make some cocoa because like, one, it's, uh, let's see, what's the weather? It's 45 degrees, but also I just, I spent two hours outside in the cold for our vaccine clinic this morning. So, excuse me while I sip my hot cocoa because I'm slowly dying. That's good. All right. Hey guys, it is 3.13, class ended at three, another day of cardio, yay. Um, oh, bless you. Like I mentioned, yesterday we had our exam. Um, it went great. Um, I don't I don't really wanna discuss like numbers or anything like that. So let's just say I had an amazing grade and I'm very happy with it, I'm very pleased with it, it was great especially and then like like even better than i like should have gotten with um <laughs> with dying over the weekend because of my vaccine so um <laughs> let's just say that but very happy very satisfied definitely a great cushion for the rest of the semester uh we've got two more exams this month i'm looking at my calendar we've got two more exams this month before spring break so in this in this class specifically so that was great especially because next week we start um, pulmonary which would be on Tuesdays and Thursdays so like it's, it was it's a great grade to have a cushion on so that I can I would say like ease up on the next ones but just in case I do need to put more time into pulmonary at some point I have a great grade right now so very pleased with that um, so yeah um, I guess today is going to conclude my study vlog um, obviously this went two more days longer than it should have because you know I died over the weekend so I wanted to update you guys on like how I did <laughs> despite studying dying and coming back to study at like 2 a.m you know so um I hope this was like a good way for you guys to see like just how I spend my weekends um preparing for exams obviously if you see my vlogs my vlogs before the study vlog then you know I also prepare during the week like when even when it's not an exam so um I just wanted to really like show this on like how I prep um obviously the studying everything like that um the note cards all that good stuff if you guys want a more in-depth video let me know below um i never really know exactly because like i also like obviously i talk to a lot of y'all on instagram and some of you guys like mainly love vlogs and i love making vlogs for y'all trust me i do uh but i also kind of want to switch it up every now and then so if you want it like a specific like video on like how i go from taking notes to making my note cards to making my study guide 
to reviewing for the study guide and taking the exam let me know i can do more in depth for you <laughs> yeah let me know below and as usual i love you um thank you for shopping by i love you guys so much i do everything for y'all this is great um and i'm very proud you guys should be so proud of me of how consistent i have been with my uploading mm. Mm. all for y'all so if you like this video um give it a big thumbs up below subscribe I love y'all. Leave me a comment about um, a specific video you want to see. Um, I guess this this could be that opening thing. Yeah, if you guys really want a specific video, let me go below. Um, some ideas I'm thinking of is like doing like a what I eat in a week, mainly because like I get a lot of comments on my Instagram when I like show you guys like new plant-based dishes and stuff, or like how I'm incorporating more meats but not really into my diet stuff like that. So like just let me know below like what you guys want to see. Um, as always, I love you. See you next time.